Really cool. And today we have sewing with us. Hey, I'm Drew. Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Brindley. <laughs> yeah, and we have you. All right, so before you do anything, hop onto our website, www.threadsewingschool.com. Look at the bottom in the description, you'll see a link to this tutorial. And you're going to print off two pages. It's a free pattern. This is all you're going to need. Okay, so here's your pattern pieces. You're going to cut around the black lines. You're going to match them up at the circle, the half circles. Tape it together. Okay girls, go ahead and let's cut and tape. Um, I got the tape. You're the tape girl. <laughs> You're gonna notice, this is an important part, there are two little dots at the top, at the bottom and at the top. And I'm gonna poke a hole through those. With a pen. Yeah, or pen or object. pencil. Or knife. Just don't poke your eyes, <laughs> don't poke your eyeballs out. Um, and I'll show you why when we cut out our pattern pieces. Um, and so it says on here to cut six of these football shapes. The first thing you'll need is disco ball fabric. Also some stuffing. Okay. <laughs> um, you're gonna cut six football shapes out of your disco ball fabric. But luckily we have the magical sewing fairy that will cut out all our pieces of fabric if we snap our fingers together. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, oh my yes. gosh, thank, thank you magical you. sewing fairy. <laughs> All right, we love that magical sewing fairy. <laughs> and we are going to take, remember when we poked those holes in the corners of our pattern? Um, we're going to line it up with our pieces and just use, with a marker or a pen, make a little dot where those holes are. And this dot is gonna show us, once we put our patterns, our pieces together, where we're gonna start sewing. So you'll, we'll start and put the machine down right here and sew around. So go through all your pieces and make those little dots. Now we've got all our pieces cut out. We've got our little dots on the back of our pieces. We're gonna start off, step one, we're gonna take two footballs, turn them so the mirror, the pretty sides are together. Just like this. And you're gonna put your clips or your pins all around one side. Just and we're gonna sew, starting at that black circle, we're gonna sew from here all the way down to the next black circle. Try your best not to get stitches past those circles. And we're gonna follow along the edge of the foot, use a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, so let me give you some tips about working with this fabric. It's not as easy as regular fabric to work with because all these little mirror pieces, it's got some kind of glue or adhesive to get it to stay on the tool. And sometimes, actually pretty much every time I've sewn with it, it makes the needle start to get gummy and sticky. So if your thread starts breaking and you're having troubles sewing and none of your stitches are turning out, it's probably because your needle is sticky and you can kind of scratch some of the stickiness off. Um, one tip that I found that helps is use a stretch needle. So these girls all have stretch needles in their machine. Um, another tip is just trade out the needle. If it's getting sticky and it's driving you crazy and you're pulling your hair out, put a new needle in there and then after you're done with your project, you can clean the needle off with nail polish remover or alcohol or something to kind of get the stickiness off. And then you could keep using that needle again later. Um, also, if you have a walking foot, it makes this project so much easier. These girls do not have walking foots on their machine. A walking foot helps feed both layers through evenly. And you're going to see as you sew with these, it's 
they don't want to stay together. So these girls are going to have a little bit of a challenge to try to keep their edges lined up and going. But I got full confidence in you guys. Okay. Okay? Yes. So go ahead. Okay, we've got two football shapes sewn together. Now to do the third, we're just gonna open it like this, pick up another football, pretty sides together, and you're gonna match it up with the next side and clip it and sew it. up these top corners and the bottom corners and we're going to clip all the way around the whole circle. We're also going to sew all the way around the whole circle except on the side we're going to leave a hole because we need to turn it the right way out. We still need to add the stuffing. So I like to use red clips for that reason because red means stop. And in between those red clips, we're gonna leave a hole. We are not gonna sew it there. But we will add clips all the way around the circle. So girls, if you kinda just flatten that middle, you should see how all the open sides make a circle. And that's where we're gonna clip. I just stitch is where you do a stitch on top and then a stitch in the bottom and pull it closed. 